Good Friday afternoon. This is Sue, the Soggy Stamper. I'm excited to come um, share with you the, a, this card uh, on a sunny afternoon, brisk, but sunny and very delightful. Um, so this is part of, first off I want to talk about the bundle that is my bundle of the month for November. It includes Okay, let me get the pieces. Sorry about that. The framed florets. Flamed, framed florets dies and this is really a great great bundle because it has all kinds of greetings for a special person on a special day a little reminder that you are loved celebrate so lucky to call you friend thank you with all my heart wishes for a beautiful birthday and the dies the thing that really attracted me to this are these oval dies they make such beautiful frames and um, they're just stunning and then there are the dies to cut out the stamp sets so after you've stamped and colored and I love coloring especially with stamp and blends you can cut out that one you can cut out let's see some of them are just for um, added details this one cuts out this, and let's see, have that one, and we have this little one, and then we have two flowers, this flower. And this flower. So all together this and then it has besides the frames it has one two three leaves oh and then this one cuts out this cluster of flowers and then in included included in the framed or the fitted florets suite which is um, available right now. The um, there is um, the fitted florets uh, designer series paper. paper. I was a little wrong there. And one of the designs of the designer series paper, you can cut out the flower, this flower like that. The other flowers on this dis this designer series paper are large enough that you can fussy cut them and it makes it really really easy to make a um, beautiful card just by cutting this out and cutting out your designs your ovals so that is the bundle of the month let me put my dies back away them in the wrong order. I should mark these so that when I put them away I know exactly where they are supposed to go. There, this works. And I'll put the 
to like that. On there like that. So we're going to be using the frames from these two frames for our card today. I'm not going to use the stamp set nor the designer series paper. So I'll set those aside. Okay, so for this card, we're going to use, like I say, I used these two dies. And the thing about this one is there is no cutting edge on the inside there. So you could have a solid card front with just the hearts going around and, and you still have the solid in there. So to get it to cut out and have an opening, you have to use this one. So that's what I did with those. And this is one of the Holly Berry leaves, uh, designer series papers uh, from the Holly leaves. I love, love, love it. I've but used it all up already. Um, and that's just the five and a fourth by four inch piece of um, designer series paper. Started with a eight and a half by five and a half sheet of Whisper White. Folded in half and scored, or scored and folded in half at five, at four and a quarter. And then this is what this is what it looked like when I cut it out like that. Now I wanted to have gold behind it, and this is no longer available, at least not right now. Uh, it is in the annual catalog, but it's at this point no. Um, there's no. It's not available, so I didn't cut it out to be the full size. I made it a little bit shorter to save on some of that. I'm going to put it on with some seal. In the corners, for sure. Right along there. Excuse me. This piece is three and three fourths by four and a half. I'm just going to kind of line it up there. Doesn't matter that there's adhesive down there because it's going to be on the card front. Okay. Next thing is the Christmas tree. This is the green glitter paper. You can get a packet of it with um, uh, very vanilla gold and this evening evergreen green. And I cut it out using the Twinkling Lights dies. I used this die last weekend or last Friday to make a snowflake uh, card. And this is the Christmas tree. And as you can see, they nest very nicely. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's openings like this in it, but they do not cut out anything. <coughs> oh, pardon me. And since I did not need the whole because I'm going to tuck it in. I only used a portion of it to save on the green uh, glimmer paper. So I cut it out and I'm going to slide it down in under that like that so that the window is featuring our lovely Christmas tree and if you look carefully you can see the gold shines through the garland and some of the spots on the Thing. So put some hoop. Don't want it to. Well, it's starting to stick to the card, to the thing. So I guess I'll go ahead and just put it on now. 
to the card front. Make sure I get it turned the right side up, the right direction. Okay, now I'm going to tuck the Christmas tree underneath. Put a little bit of right me seal it there if I can. Yep. Nope, I didn't get it. I'm going to put a I'm going to put a small dot up there because on my sample card that kind of stuck up and I had to slip one of these underneath it to hold it in place. Okay, then just tuck it in. I really love these hearts. I think this will make a great Valentine card. Even <clears throat> so, I have our tree, and I wanted to have a star up there. This is one of the dies in the twinkling. Huh, look at that. No wonder it was hard to get it off the stand. Okay, so at any rate, this is one of the little dies for a star. And you can just put it on with a mini glue dot, but I actually backed it with some stamp and um, some adhesive sheet so that the whole thing would stick down. It's really cool to use this for fine details. Only challenge is getting the corner up. Oh, this would. Well, it was going easily. To get the paper backing up. Come on. There we go. Tuck that away. I put it on the top, the twink twinkling star on the top of my tree. Okay, and then the final touch is the greeting. This is Merry Christmas, and this comes from the Hope and Peace stamp set, Merry Christmas. This is a nice set that's in the holiday catalog, or the July through December catalog, God's Blessings to You, which works for any time of the year, wishing you the hope and peace of Christ this season. That could work for every year too, I mean all year long. Emmanuel, God with us, the weary world rejoices. May knowing Christ bring you peace for today, hope for tomorrow, and joy in every season. And that's a great one to, to, when somebody is struggling a little bit maybe. Peace on earth, goodwill to all, with love and hope. And this one I've used uh, this fall. It's a good one for all year round. Merry Christmas and tidings of comfort and joy. So this is a wonderful set. It is in the holiday, or, or the, <clears throat> the fall mini catalog. And I have news that it is also being carried forward. So you can use it in the, into the spring as well. So then the frame, one of the things I like about Stampin' Up! Diet, uh, die sets is that almost every one of them has a frame in it and I have a wide choice of big frames <clears throat> then. and that one comes from yeah where moment 
Somehow I can't find that set. That the die comes from. But anyway, it's a really nice, I like the design. I'm going to put that on with Stampin' Dimensionals to pop it up a little bit. There's one more. And there you have a quick card, Christmas card. This would be easy to make in multiples to make it your Christmas card because all you're stamping is this. And you stamp that first and then you die cut it. And when you're stamping it, all you have to worry about is making sure that you have it spaced far enough apart that you've got room for your die. I think it's a gorgeous one. I would not add anything more to it because of the shimmer of the tree and the shimmer of the um, uh, the distressed gold. Um, and that's enough bling as far as I'm concerned. So that was that was the card for today. However, <clears throat> we have all kinds of pieces left over when we use these dies. We end up with frames if you because I had to use both of these to get my opening, I had this frame cut out. And you can see I've used it in several different cards, different colors. And you end up with an oval in the center. And I wanted to figure out something to do with the ovals because I hate to waste any of it. So I came up with this card. The base is real red and it's 11 by four and a quarter scored and folded at five and a half. Then I have a layer of basic white that is five and a quarter by four. That's the standard. A little bit of adhesive on the corners. I know some people like to put adhesive all over their cards um, and uh, yeah they'll stay well but if you haven't lined it up perfectly to start with it's hard to get it up to reposition it. Now I love I love this iridescent or this um, shimmer uh, evening evergreen. Oh dear losing my hearts. Um, so I cut this out using one of the deco rectangles. I believe it was this one. Nope, next size up. Like that. And I thought, I hadn't planned to use the white behind it, but that would have left a lot of the real red and I decided okay gotta put another layer on it so that's why the basic white is there now put, add that and the basic white makes it kind of like a frame around my evening evergreen and I've tried to figure ways to use these, and the best way to use these, I think, is to put them on and just use them to frame flowers, maybe, or if I hadn't put the green on there, put that on there and stamp your greeting in there. So these, these will be used for, as frames for various cards. But these, they kind of look like Easter eggs. I guess if you were to cut them out in Easter egg colors, it might work real well. 
But what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of stagger them like this going down. And then on the white one, I stamped Peace on Earth, Goodwill to All, which is in this Hope and Peace stamp set. I'm just going to lay them down. gold. Can't waste that gold for sure. I went to order it today. It's really interesting. Sometimes God protects our, my checkbook. Um, even though I am not asking him to. At any rate, I went to order, reorder this today. And it's not available at this point. And I went to reorder I think this. And this this is completely sold out. It's not going to be available at all. So stagger them down like this. And then, to add a little bit, I'm going to put a bow down here on the bottom. For just a little bit more color. So, use one of these mini, mini glue dots. Where'd they go? Okay, front and center, they were right here. Oh, for Pete's sake. How can they disappear like that? But not there. Oh, there they are. You would think in a confined space like this, you wouldn't lose them. These come with paper pumpkin kits, and they always give you a generous amount. I think I'll use two to be sure to hold that bow in place well. They give you a generous amount, but they are perfect for putting ribbons on. The regular mini glue dots are a little bit big, and uh, you have to kind of roll them up to get them So there you have another card using the leftovers from our first card. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation. I urge you to get the Fitted Florets bundle. Um, and if you buy that from me this during November, I will send you five free tutorials for using that bundle. And if you were to go ahead and get the whole suite, which is uh, available through November, um, actually, it's the papers and the um, and the um, swirled gold swirled things, and this the Christmas set that goes with it. There's a fitted greetings or something like that that goes with the the suite or the collection. And those are only available till the end of November, but the um, bundle is available, and it's in the new uh, mini catalog for the spring. But if you were to order the whole collection, I will send you 10 tutorials for using the whole collection. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, this is Sue the Soggy Stamper. Rain or shine, it's stamping time. And my blog, I'll have the dimensions for these cards on my blog, uh, SoggyStamper.com. Uh, if you need to order any of those supplies, then I really would appreciate you, especially ordering the bundle of the month. Uh, my store is creationsbysue.stampinup.net. And if you have any questions, you can email me, sue at SoggyStamper.com. And I will have this video up on my YouTube channel, The Soggy Stamper, uh, this afternoon. Thanks for watching. If you have left any comments, I will respond to you as soon as I get off the air. Have a wonderful weekend, and uh, we'll see you again next Friday afternoon at 3 o'clock. Bye-bye.